New at five, a single mom fighting for unemployment benefits says a $33 paycheck is stopping her from getting benefits. And Shepard called News 6 for help after her calls to the DEO got nowhere. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is working to get her results. He joins us now live in studio, Mike. Thanks, Lisa. Hi, everyone. Listen, Ann Shepard is one of hundreds of Florida residents unable to get help because of a return to work status. But that line on her DEO account doesn't tell the whole story. Listen. You don't know me, but I have been sleeping in my lanai since April and rented out my bedroom so that I could pay my bills. That may be the toughest thing Ann Shepard has ever done, a public admission that her life has come down to a mattress on her back porch. It's humiliating. It is degrading. <sighs> She's a single mom with Iowa roots. Her teenage son is still with her. Her job options, scarce at best. I sold my car and a friend gave me a vehicle to drive. I mean, come on, I didn't, nobody deserves this. She's gone from caterer to a waitress working part-time at a country club. That receipt there, evidence of the tip from her only customer the day of this interview. I'm here for $8.50 an hour doing lunches and I'm making maybe $20 to $30 in tips. This is not enough to live on. Her survival story is the product of what she calls a DEO system failure. A few hours working with a temp agency created this financial nightmare. $33 threw off any unemployment. Her DEO records confirm that return to work status, blocking any path to unemployment benefits. I don't know what they want me to do because nobody can tell me anything for 20 weeks. New Six contacted the DEO to request a review of her status. Anne's wait for benefits is over. The DEO issued $1,500 into her bank account this week. I appreciate this so much. You have no idea. Well, it makes us feel good to do it. With the help of the DEO, we were able to get Anne's account corrected. You ready? In 24 hours. Now, remember, each case is different, but we will continue to work with the DEO to get results for Florida residents. Guys, over to you.